we are today we are with Hexa Hexacosacoran. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Hexacosacoran. Hexacosacoran. That sounds pretty cool. Yep. How close are we on a scale from 1 to 10? Tell us. Are we know. close to your name being correct? <laughs> Shall I go back to the lane? Back in the lane? Yeah. He's very oh, no. Scottish today. <laughs> Alright, super Scottish. Alright, yeah, same. We're going to try and channel this as best we can. Alright. Wow. Wow. I'll try not to switch into Irish. Which wow. is just... Wow. I can't say Irish without going Irish. Right, we're going to be pretty terrible hey, about this, and this is going to be extremely racist. <laughs> wow, you all sound Eastern <laughs> European. <laughs> no, they're, they're not going to channel my Oh, we gotta, Say that Roman, again, Tom, because I forgot it already. Let's go bowling. <laughs> say, say the name again, Tom, because I... I what? I don't remember. Say his name. What's his name? Hexacosacorum, bro. Hexacosacorum. There we go. Right. <laughs> wow. That was, yeah, that's like a Eastern European mixed with Scottish now. Wow. Okay, so what's the name of the ship? Does anyone know what the name of the ship is? Looks like this is the Clodus. The Clodus? Yes. Yep. Okay, the Clodus. And it's a beautiful ship. N Clodus, ship. something like that. Maybe possibly. Is it N Clodus? Hang on a minute. E N C L Enceladus. Enceladus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll it might it. be, but maybe it's Enceladus. Mm -hmm. That sounds a bit too much like something you'd get with a burrito. <laughs> but... Oh, like oh, Saturn and Enceladus. Moon. Yeah, Enceladus. Hold on. Um, Google will help. Google will help us. Yeah, it's it's, it's beautiful. Moon, really. I think it's moon. beautiful. Do you know what? You you two should come on all the lineups. This is the sort of chaos we need. <laughs> So basically, totally. so Ence for it. it's Enceladus. Yep, Enceladus, Aye. that's the Enceladus. way. Enceladus. And uh, I love the impulse engines. They're fresh. It's a nice touch. You've got this cool, cool Freshly bay. Picked. Cool bay. I've, I've got to say, it Bilbo. looks like a combination between the fucking... Uh, you know what, I'm not even going to do the accent. It looks like a combination <laughs> between an Avenger and an Oberth and also a galaxy. And I love it. <laughs> ah, here's beautiful the bridge. Ship. Basically, it's a beautiful ship. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. With the deflector of a Nova. <laughs> it's really nice. It's got all of. It's... it's got some really cool features. I like the feature just here where it's split. You know, the source is split from the uh, uh, lower section. Just there. I think that's really cool. I swear you only get them on Odyssey classes and things after that, but I, I'm not like a uh, pro. Beat I'd, Star Trek history guy. I do think his bridge is a little smart right. though. Like he so his, more uh, stuff. all he has is two computers. Oh, but his I design like was designed to be the smallest Trek ship possible with a shuttle bay. Oh wow! Depends what and your shuttle is, bro. I have to say, <laughs> where's it, the shuttle bay? Let's see. There's a shuttle. It's Might, just behind yeah. the dish. Oh, yeah. so it's quite a large shuttle then. Well, looks like the challenge has been set now. His, his is way better than mine. There's loads more detail in here. But it is like half scale. Shuttle. It is half scale. I do like it. The uh, deflector dish area here. You've got that inspection. What's this? It's an interesting choice with the shield blocks for the, I suppose, they almost look like phaser banks. Oh, wow. But... You can go down underneath and he's kind of got little tube accesses. Underneath. Gives it a nice glow, actually. Gives it a nice blue glow. Now, I'd also like to see, um, at the end of the glass, yeah. right in front of the bridge, I'd like to see a little bit of separation there as well. It kind of all runs together. I love the lighting as well. The lighting, where he's put all the windows in, and then there's lights inside, but, you know, where, so you can see into. Do you know what I mean? Like, as you're going down the side of the vessel. Oh, hold on. Have you seen the uh, botanical stuff? Botanical stuff. Really oh, nice garden. I've missed there. that. I've been walking all over the thing. There's there's a lot to the interior actually. It's it, you actually get lost pretty easily. Yeah, this thing actually has <sighs> labyrinthian <laughs> for yeah, such definitely. a small ship. What are the dimensions yep. on this ship? We're gonna call you Hexa. So Hexa, what are the dimensions in this baby? Looks like probably no more than 150 meters. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Very nice. I do like how the uh, forward AMCs actually have their own bay as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd also like to see some more furniture in this thing. Uh, yeah. Really love all the little rooms. Really want to see yeah, some jam-packed with furniture. Yeah, exactly. It just doesn't have a lot in it. And there's a couple spots where I think, uh, especially on the front of the nacelles, where you would have benefited from some tetras. But this may have been built before that, so... So, what was the name of that ship one more time? Enceladus. The Enceladus. And the name of the builder? That is... the name that I can pronounce, Hexacasacoria. <laughs> Yes, Hexacosicorn. So he has the choice of either flying away now or sticking around. Of course, it's a bit of a gamble, but you know, it's up to him. And then we're going to move on to the next guy in the line. So thanks for joining us in this lineup review, and we will get on to the next guy now. So thanks again.